it's me and it is holiday vlog fest day three <laughs> i don't know where the days keep going i can't believe there's only like 22 days till christmas well actually less than that technically for us because we're celebrating christmas early with my parents because as more spouses marry into the family the more complicated family get-togethers get because everybody has you know other family that they need to be with but anyways time is just going by way too fast but today's uh prompt was Excuse me, I'm burping. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I was burping in my tutorial earlier and I just, I'm so sorry. I'm such a gross person. Um, oh. <laughs> Today's prompt was, what gets you into the holiday spirit? For me, it would have to be a mixture of a couple of things. Definitely the weather. We live in the Midwest. I love snow. I love waking up to just, I don't know, everything seems brighter when there's snow on the ground. And living in the Midwest, when it gets dark at, by like, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, I get very bad seasonal depression. You guys know I'm very susceptible to depression to begin with. And just, I, it's just terrible. Like my, my husband is actually trying to get me to go tan um, like once a week just to get some you know, D in my skin. I mean, I take uh, D supplements and B12s, but you know, it'll, it can only do so much. But anyways, so, you know, when it's, there's snow on the ground and it's sunny out, I feel like it just makes the whole, just everything seem so much brighter and happier and reflective. And I just love it. Also, I just love, you know, feeling cozy inside while it's like freezing outside. I don't necessarily like being outside when it's freezing cold. <laughs> as long as I'm like bundled, I don't mind. But like, I don't like freezing to death, but it's the weather. Um, right now, the Midwest is playing a joke on us. Tomorrow's is supposed to be 60 degrees, and I'm pretty upset because we had a pretty mild winter last year, and because of that, none of the bugs that were supposed to die died, so we just had an overflow of just nasty bugs that were eating up my vegetable gardens and just all my plants. And Anyways, I digress. But So the weather definitely gets me in the mood. I'm really hoping it starts getting cold and it snows for Christmas. I would love a white Christmas. I, we always get like a white Valentine's Day. We don't get like Christmas Christmas. And then other things would be like lights outside of people's houses. Um, all my neighbors are starting to put their lights up. We are not going to put lights up this year. Again, we're just trying to have as low key of a winter as possible. Last year, we had two, I had my tubal done right by Christmas. John had his ACL repaired right by Christmas. All the kids were in the emergency rooms multiple times near Christmas. We're trying to take it easy this year, and we're trying to concentrate on what's most important, which is family. So... We're not going to decorate the outside of our house. We're just going to enjoy everybody else's. I sound like such a Grinch. No Christmas tree. No decorations outside. And yeah. I do hang wreaths though. We always go to this. Our botanical gardens always has this like Christmas thing with homemade goods and all this other stuff. And it's a tradition for my husband and I and my mom to go every year. Um, we usually take a kid along, you know, um, usually it falls on a weekend that I don't have Ava, but this year it falls on a weekend that we do have her. So we're all gonna go out and have dinner at this family restaurant of a friend of ours owns and then go there and I will get my hanging um, swags is what they're called or like those nice little wreathy things that you put next to the door. So I get like three of those for the sides of our garage and our front door and I do that but lights we're not going to do. Um, another thing that puts me in the mood is definitely, definitely, definitely seasonal coffees like peppermint mochas. Oh my gosh, my fridge has two peppermint mocha creamers because I just drink it every morning. I wake up and I'm, I get so excited to go downstairs and run my Keurig and then put my peppermint mocha coffee in there. Oh, I just love it um another thing would have to be um the christmas tree but sadly again we're not gonna get a christmas tree this year and i got some flack from people and i think it's really funny because it's my kids like we have we're gonna have a christmas tree at my mom's but she lives down the street and i think it's funny how people feel like they need to tell me that i'm like ruining my kids christmas like it's my choice and i understand that like kids need to learn not to touch things but when it comes to safety and my sanity, I'm just not willing to risk it this year. So, yeah, um, I'm all, I gotta go because I'm almost reaching five minutes. Um, I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. I did a tutorial on my cowls and scarves. If you want to see that, I uploaded it a little bit earlier. It's super long though, so I am not offended if you don't want to watch. But I'm gonna let you go. Bye. Real quick, I needed to show you the giant panda that is sitting in our living room. My oldest niece asked for a the the giant panda from Costco is what she asked for. So. Auntie Kelly, of course, had to go and get it. <laughs> Her parents are going to kill me. I don't know what they're going to do, actually, because I didn't think it was going to be this big. 
it is huge. You can just see it's sitting in my chair and it's just a giant, like it's literally a giant panda. So I don't know how they're going to take that home <laughs> um, or what they're going to say when they see it, but I just hope my niece loves it. But yeah, so that gets me in the mood too is holiday shopping, not the panda with the Monsters Inc. Sully tail coming out. Why it put that from his Halloween costume on there. But anyways, I just had to show you guys that because I thought it was really funny. Those are at Costco for $30. Look how ginormous it is.